All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, and welcome back to fishing. So we are pushing through mid-August right now, and this is probably the last time I'm gonna be able to take my kayak out fishing out in this area for a little while. Uh, I'm going on a trip this Friday. Right now it's Wednesday, if that makes any difference, if you wanna know. Um, and I'm hoping to do some kayaking on the trip if possible, but that remains to be seen. Uh, that being said though, we're going to take the kayak out, at least that's the plan. Fairly decent wind forecast. Uh, tide situation's okay. I've got a few hours, so we're gonna try and make that work for us. Targeting fluke, sea bass, whatever bottom fish decide to show up. I don't even know anymore. Every time I go out there, I hope for one thing and get something else, but that's the fun of bottom fishing, I suppose. So we're gonna make that work. Uh, jig and gulp, jig and bucktails, the usual. And I hope it turns into something good. So as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already. And with that out of the way, I think it's time to get, as always, some fishing. Okay, we're back several hours later and we are on the water. Uh, we are fishing on the north side of the island. I thought about launching on the south shore, on the ocean, but there was a little bit of a swell, even though there's really no wind. So I decided to do this because I don't feel like really wiping out in front of a giant crowd of people. That and there's a lot of surfers in the water, which is more of an issue. Um, and finally, this isn't my boat, as I've said over and over and over again this summer. If this were my boat, I'd be willing to beat it up a little bit, but yeah, this isn't my boat. I don't want to push the envelope too much. Plus, um, there's some little things about this boat that make me a little nervous about launching it, particularly how quickly I can get on the seat because sometimes it flaps down when I want it up and little things like that. Uh, so we're gonna wait on that ocean launch at least till probably the fall. But this is my last time in the kayak for at least a good week and a half, though it might not seem like that with the way I perhaps post these videos, I don't know. But uh, we're really looking for a nice fluke. So we're gonna fish some deep water, jig some gulp, and maybe we'll find some nice fluke, maybe we will not. Uh, either way, we're just here to have a good time. So catch you when we get to the spot. All right, we got a slight breeze out here, but it's coming out of the south. Uh, so hopefully it won't mess with us too much with our drift. Uh, speaking of the drift, we have an outgoing tide. We got like three hours of outgoing before I assume it's going to bottom out. So we got some movement. Uh, we're going to start off this one ounce spro bucktail, though honestly it's more of a jig at this point because it's been mangled so much. It's probably the ma mangiest bucktail I have, um, but I do tend to get snagged in the bottom here. So I figure if I'm going to lose one, I might as well do this. And yeah, if it's too light, we will up to 1.5 as usual, but let's see how we do. First drift, first drop. Let's see what kind of day we're gonna have today, folks. Will one ounce cut it? That's a bite. All right. What do we got? Ah, oh, came off. Probably see Robin. It's okay. Nobody freak out. Sea bass, probably? Sea bass or weak fish? Little. I think a weak fish. Not a fluke. It's a weak fish. Little weak fish. An aspiring strong fish. And back he goes. Cool. All right, we got some action in the first drift. Always a good sign. Except when it's not and it's a five minute curse, but I'm feeling good about today. We got a good drift. Got some good wind forecast. Let's see if we can capitalize. See Robin, probably, maybe not. Another weak fish. Another micro week. Whatever. That's enough. 
that's an upgrade from a C Robin. Hear that, folks? That means it's fish o'clock. Drop everything you're doing and start fishing. But yeah, two drifts, two weak fish. You can definitely do a lot worse than that, but let's see if we can upgrade to some larger fish and some fish that we might actually want to keep for a change. All right, drift three. Let's see if we can go three for three. Feels like a sea bass. Called that one. Love to get some bigger ones. just picked up a lot of weight. Ah, uh, weak fish. Weak fish. Can't get one of these to stay in the boat. All right. We've done like four drifts so far and I've already burned through two pieces of gulp. So what I've decided to do um, is two things. One, we're upping to a 1.5 ounce bucktail just because we are moving pretty quick. Uh, and two, we're gonna fish a mangle gulp fat cow jig strip combo just because there's a lot of smaller stuff down there that is just like burning through the gulp. And I really don't like to have my uh, bait or gulp or bucktail or whatever you wanna call it down there any longer than it has to be if uh, the tail is nipped off. With this setup, it's really hard for the fish to take the tail off the setup. And to be perfectly honest, like of all the bigger fluke I've caught, like six pounds plus, I think probably 85 to 90% have been on this just because I think I can keep this in the water that much longer confidently. That last rip I was getting hits and then all of a sudden they stopped and I was pretty sure the tail might've been munched off, but I didn't want to yank it out because you know there might be a fish chasing after it still. Uh, but we're going to get this down there and see if we can uh, maximize our time in the water and perhaps get in some bigger fish. Holy sh**. You just see that? Wow. Dolphin just leapt clear out of the water. Got these dolphins coming right at us. Whole pod. Wow, they are close. Oh boy. Hopefully the presence of these dolphins won't uh, destroy the bite because we were doing pretty well, but it has slowed down. Granted, I did switch my presentation, so that might have something to do with it. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we need to downsize back to one ounce. Let's see how this drift goes. All right, we're downsizing back to the one ounce and the four inch gulp grub. Just the bite's been really not inconsistent or the bite's definitely slowed down since so we've switched to the fat cow jig strip on the one and a half ounce. I don't know if it's because of that or just a coincidence, but uh, let's see if going back to this smaller size gets more bites because it was pretty consistent bite before that. Now it's kind of sporadic. Could just be that this spot has died off too. And I got time today and it's not super windy. It might be 
worthwhile to explore a bit. But we do have a bit of tide to push against too, so we'll see. Oh. Little fish. There we go. Something a little better. This feels pretty good, actually. Oh no! Oh no! What was that? Got back. I don't think that's. That might be what we missed. It's definitely a fluke. Doesn't feel as heavy though. Whatever, at least we got a fluke. Man, these things are just destroying my gulp today. All right, we got our first fluke of the session. Nothing special, but I have to imagine if there's one like that down there, there must be a few keepers as well. And it seems that the downsizing was a good idea, so let's try that again. There he is. That, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a nice weak fish, maybe. I don't think that's a fluke. It is fighting really funny. Might be a good sea bass too. Nice sea bass. Maybe we should just take this one. Let's, let's start a, a sea bass dinner right now. Why not? I'm tired of throwing these things back and then Still, it's not that big though. It's probably like right on the line 15. Look bigger for a second. You can go back. All right, we just got a nicer sea bass in the boat. It's definitely a step in the right direction considering all the tiny ones we've been getting. Probably just on the line legal, but as I've repeatedly said, I don't like keeping really mediocre sized sea bass just because they're not super fun to clean. I know you can keep them whole, but or cook them whole, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. So unless they're well above legal size, uh, I'm just gonna throw them back. Unless of course we get like a nice fluke and then maybe we'll reconsider. But even with that, we don't really need meat right now. Gotcha that time. That's another nice sea bass or weak fish. Might be a sea robin too, I don't know. Another legal sea bass. I think it's a little bigger than the last one. Or maybe it's just the same exact fish. That one looks a little bigger. Let's see what we get on this guy, measure wise. This looks like the same exact fish. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, we're getting some slightly larger sea bass, so that's promising. Though it's still not really in the size range we're looking for to want to harvest, so we will press on and keep releasing these fish.
these guys are coming back. Not the size we want to see, but happy to see them. Keeping things interesting rather than just nothing. Plenty of juvenile sea bass. Got to imagine there's some good ones down there. Robin. Good to see bass. Another keeper. It's probably the same one we keep catching. about this size. I mean, that would be a limit right there if they're three distinct fish. Not very big, though. It's like a 15 on the dot, maybe 16. Now, I know some of y'all watching right now are doing the math. That was a third, more or less, on-the-line keeper sea bass. I mean, I didn't measure them, but probably would have made 15 if not a little bit over. Uh, that was a limit of sea bass. So you might be saying like, oh, well, you should have kept all those sea bass and you'd have more than enough meat. And you're right, I'd have enough meat for like a small meal, but like I've said, I really just don't like cleaning the small sea bass. It's just not worth it. Um, and you know, if you get a limit of small fish, it really sucks when you get one that's quite nice and you have to let it go. So we're gonna press on. I'm okay with not keeping anything today, but Hopefully, uh, still got another three, maybe even four hours left to fish. So, see if we can turn our fortune around. There we go. That feels like a good fluke. Something foul hooked. It's quite really weird. For a second, it felt like a fluke. Now I don't know what it is. Bet it's foul hooked though. I don't know what this is. I think it is a fluke. That might be a keeper. I'm gonna net him. Yeah, I think that's a keeper. Just came up weird. All right, that'll be close. Just spit the hook. Perfect timing. This guy's gonna be a little short. It's probably like an 18 incher. But let's find out. Yeah, I called that. It's almost 18 and a half. Pretty colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sim it, sim it down now. If you're down there, though, there's got to be something a little bigger down there. Wind is shifting a little bit. It's starting to come more out of the southeast. So we're getting blown a little bit against tide, but the tide's going to switch over pretty soon and be going more with the wind, so that'll be good once it starts moving. Though we're probably in a good hour of just complete slack, which will be very tough, but that might be when we do a little exploration as it'll be easier to move around. There we go. That could be a good fish. I don't think so. No, I don't know. Oh no! No, oh my God, come back fish, come back. That was definitely a fluke. Started to feel like it was picking up some weight. Come back, please come back. Oh, dang it. Doubt it was huge, but it might've been a keeper. Dang. 
tide is just about going slack right now. Maybe I'm gonna give this spot one more drift. I'm gonna try some deep water and see if uh, some exploration will reward us. I just downloaded the Navionics charts back to my phone and paid for the full year membership after the two week trial. And I've got a few spots of interest I wanna check out. So let's do that while we don't have much tide pushing against us. We're checking out some deeper water. The other spot's kind of dried up with the, the slack tide. And I'm, I'm imagining it'll probably not be so good over here either, but let's see if the deeper water is holding some more qualitative fish. Here we go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's what I'm talking about. No, oh my gosh. No, why? Why? Oh my God, please come back. This fish isn't coming back, is it? All right, we just missed what felt like probably the single best hookup of the day. Probably a good fluke. Uh, we're gonna try going over that again, that exact same drift. Fortunately, I've really never fished here this season on this fish finder. Um, and it's pretty easy to pick out exactly where I just drifted, so. Maybe, just maybe we can make lightning strike twice, but I am not holding my breath, but it's definitely fish over here. So perhaps I'll have a, a roommate down there or a buddy. Oh man, there we go. That's a good fish. I don't know if that's a fluke, but it's nice, whatever it is. Feels like a flu. It's starting to lighten up a bit, but I think, still think it's nice. Take our time. Uh, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, well, doesn't matter now. <laughs> oh, I should have netted that one. Whatever. Just dropped another okay fluke. Definitely not like the one we dropped earlier that we didn't have on for that long, but might have been close to keeper size. Definitely at least a New Jersey keeper. But let's see what else we can find here. This is deeper water. Ooh. Felt good for a sec, but not anymore. At least we're getting the right species, though. Well, it's been a slow pick, but we are finding some fish and fluke nonetheless, so. Would have really been nice if we got to see what that one fish was that came off, uh, not to dwell upon it, but. So this tide starts to maybe start moving again. Uh, maybe we'll be fortunate to be graced with another large fish. We shall see, but I got another hour and a half in me perhaps. Oh, that was, that was quick. I don't know what that is, but he hit it as soon as it hit the ground. Small. Interesting. Foul hooked flatty. And they're just getting smaller and smaller. Not good. Not the kind of change in size we want to see. Did not get a good hook set on that fish. Thought it was stuck. I don't think he's huge, but he's nice. I don't know, he might be foul hooked too. I like to say that. I don't think he's small though. I think he's 
even if he is foul hooked, he's nice. Where are you at, fish? Yeah, he's foul hooked. Yeah, he's not even big. First. Oh, back on the weak fish way. That's a good one. Dang. That was one of the better ones we've gotten. All right, so ends another session of the kayak. Uh, top session. Um, didn't have the best tide to work with, not to make excuses, but we made the most of it. We got some weak fish, some sea bass. Honestly, we could add a little limit of sea bass, but. I didn't feel like dealing with them today. And we had a couple good hookups that just didn't work out, but we had fairly consistent action all day. I think just the, the incoming switch and the wind against tide really made it tough, but it was cool to see all those dolphins so close. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had dolphins swim that close to me in this area, you know, like that might be more common in more tropical areas or warmer areas, but around here, I've never seen them that close. So very cool, uh, definitely a, a sight to see, so. Uh, yeah, might be a little bit before I get back out on the kayak again for fluke or whatever I'm fishing for. Uh, I'm going to try and post something, but I'm not sure what that's going to be. Uh, and depending on how things line up, it might not even seem like it's that long at all. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching. As always, please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much, as always. Uh, really helping out. I really appreciate the support and all the feedback and comments, etc. So, as always, see you next time. Have a great day, and of course, goodbye from fishing.